what is up welcome or welcome back to my channel this is going to be your september 16th through the 31st love and general reading for aries sun moon rising and venus people so aries if you guys would like a personal reading with me all that info will be down below for you guys but let's get it we're gonna pull a few of these cards here just to see what the overall energy is going to be like for you guys Excuse me. So we have cornucopia in the reverse. So whenever I get this card in the reverse, Aries, this to me talks about um, having things in your life, but something around you or you just maybe in a mood to where you're not really seeing your blessings at this time, okay? There's a feeling of lack. There's a feeling of, or a sense of not enough. Some of you guys, um, you know, are losing things, are losing possessions at this time. And for others of you, it's just having a hard time um, counting your blessings for the little things, okay? So I do get a sense that some of you guys do have a lot in your lives. And there's just something around you. Maybe it's a breakup. Maybe it's depression at this time to where you are having a hard time seeing the abundance around you okay we have indecision in the reverse so i'm also getting a sense here too aries that you guys are going to make a decision here um whereas before you guys may have had a standstill in regards to a person a place or a thing okay but i am seeing you guys finally make some sort of decision here The thinking man in the reverse. Okay. So Aries, I also want to say here, I'm getting strongly don't gamble. Because I feel like... I feel like if you guys do gamble, this could be literal gambling or just whatever you're taking a chance on, it's definitely going to deplete you. It's going to deplete you of money, of self-worth here. So make sure you guys are getting advice at this time make sure you guys are um doing your research on things okay we have goddess of the moon and the thinking man in the reverse so aries i'm definitely seeing you in an energy of unable to tap into your intuition at this time and just not really thinking things through okay for others of you this could be an aquarius libra gemini male here who is showing up in the reverse they are showing up pretty prominent here so beware of this person um once again they are showing up in the reverse listen to your intuition about your decision makings about some people in your life that you know are not good for you yeah so aries let's go ahead and get into your six card spread here let's see what information wants to come out what information i may have missed of course so we have the five of pentacles the ten of swords The Six of Cups. The Magician. The Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So you guys could once again have air in your chart, or there is an air sign who is watching you at this time, who is spying on you. Um, wow, and we have the Moon card in the reverse and the Sun card in the reverse. So whenever I get the Sun and the Moon card, especially reverse, this to me always talks about um, depression, mental health issues, so I am getting that happening for you guys but with the page of swords right next to it too there's gonna be things exposed about the people around you maybe stuff about yourself here but 
this is either you finding out the truth or someone else coming forward telling you the truth here but this could also indicate communication that comes through areas that's really not going to be what you want to hear okay it's going to definitely dampen you at this time could be about a cancer or a leo but we have a strong gemini here as well but aries i'm definitely getting like past trauma coming through and i say that because six of cups ten of swords six of cups does talk about the past ten of swords is a difficult card talking about you know this is like my mini death card this guy's literally dead on this card here so past trauma coming through which is gonna give you a sense of lack it's gonna give you a sense of um um gosh what's the word that i'm looking for self-worth lack of self-worth is what i want to say here and watch your spending as well So, Aries, let's just hop right into it here. So we start off with the Five of Pentacles. So we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. I'm getting a lot of mental energy here. I'm getting a lot of um, feeling like you're in a dark place at this time, Aries. The Five of Pentacles could also indicate a dark night of the soul, whether some of you guys are struggling financially, others of you guys are just struggling internally with things or maybe both at this time to where i am seeing sleepless nights i'm seeing you having a hard time coming to the truth about things finding the truth about things five of pentacles once again so i'm just seeing a very very hard time for you guys okay some of you guys could have gotten kicked out of the home yeah definitely I am seeing that there is a Gemini who could help you at this time for some of you, but I'm just getting money issues, I'm getting self-worth issues, I'm getting sleepless nights here, okay? The next card that we have is the Magician. So the Magician talks about um, manifesting something new into your life having an idea and running with it. Once again, this could be a Gemini in your life. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. So with the King of Pentacles, we have um, the Seven of Swords and we have the Empress here. So what I'm getting here is that there could be a mother figure that helps you. I'm also getting that um, you could be wanting to manifest something within Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I don't really feel like this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is on board with you here. I'm also getting for those of you that want to manifest something new, like a business or a project here, something to do with money. This could even be moving. I am seeing that there is a need for you to create a plan. There is a need for you to... Um, figure out what direction you want to go with this okay because i do get a sense that there's a lack of direction here in regards to something you are manifesting at this time page of wands yeah so what i'm getting here whenever i get the page of wands in regards to projects and work this talks about starting it but not finishing it okay so make sure you guys have a plan for that i'm also getting once again there could be a gemini coming forward with a message for you, maybe like a one night stand that they wanna offer you at this time. But I'm just getting an energy, Aries, of you just wanting to uh, come out of whatever difficulties you are having in your life or with people at this time, okay? So the next card that we have is the Ten of Swords. Two of Cups. So Aries, I want to say that there are people around you who do want to connect with you, who do want to make amends with you. I'm also getting, if there was a connection that really, you know, you felt backstabbed at, I do get a sense that this person does want to come together again. The Wheel of Fortune, I love it. 
So I'm getting in regards to connections. I'm getting in regards to love connections, relationships. The wheel's going to turn in your favor here, okay? And yeah, we have the Ten of Swords reversed once again. So definitely this is someone to where you had a falling out with. There was some betrayals with. I do get a sense that you and this person are coming back together. Maybe with the Sagittarius. But luck is on your side in regards to connections, Aries, okay? So the next card that we have is the Eight of Swords here. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Alright, so there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius female who is showing up in the reverse. This person could be quite pissed off at you. This person could be quite jealous of you. They are playing victim at this time. I'm also getting, if this is your energy, Aries, I'm just seeing you guys definitely stuck in your heads. Definitely um, not feeling very, uh, not having a hard time seeing a way out. And I'm seeing your power being taken away at this time due to circumstances around you. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. So Aries, watch your words. Watch what you say at this time because I do get a sense that your words can definitely put you in this Eight of Swords energy, okay? The next card that we have is the Six of Cups. The lovers in the reverse so wow yeah this is soulmate energy here this is twin flame energy i'm also getting there could be a gemini who comes back from the past but i'm seeing that this connection um between you guys okay so with the lovers being reversed to the two of cups upright this talks about um either one person or two people coming to some sort of agreement that you know things aren't going to take off with one another but there's still just being a friend connection at the very least okay with the two of cups if, if this is another connection then i'm seeing that work out but in regards to a gemini a scorpio with death or whoever this twin flame soulmate is i'm seeing that relationship end here okay there is definitely a relationship ending here with a twin flame or a soulmate or a Scorpio and it could have been due to a third-party situation here so the last card that we do have Aries is the nine of cups The Nine of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. So for some of you guys, Aries, there is somebody returning from the past that you want. Yeah. We have the Star card. This could signify an Aquarius. This could also signify, once again, somebody coming back from the past and wanting to heal things. So I feel like there is definitely a wish coming true and it has to do with somebody that you wanted or maybe just some sort of new idea that you wanted to pop off here. I do see luck very much on your side. Yeah, definitely. So hang in there, stay strong because you guys are being rewarded towards the end of September in regards to either somebody coming back or just whatever this ace of wands was that you wanted okay there is a wish coming true towards the end of september so aries let's go ahead and get into your um card of advice all right aries let's hop right in let's see what card of advice wants to come out for you guys once again if you are interested in a personal reading all that info will be down below. So Aries, last half of September. Let's see. So we have why. Why? Okay. Why, why, why? So whenever I get this card, Aries, this talks about you already knowing the answer to something, but still 
going back to that person or still doing the same things, okay? So, um, the question is why do you keep going back when you already know the answer? And you guys keep on going back to things and people that don't really have your back with a leg up in the reverse. They don't help aid you or, you know, pick you up in some sort of way here, okay? So, the advice would be not to go back to people who you know don't really help you at this time. But I do get a sense um, with advice here to mend relationships that you know you can mend with at this time, but don't keep on hitting a brick wall. So Aries, thank you guys so much for watching. I felt like I was kind of all over the place a little bit, but thank you guys so much and I'm going to move on to Taurus now.